Um, you know, before we, um, I, I know you guys, I know you do want to play some music, but I do want to talk a little bit about this Woody Allen film that you were in. Uh, mm -hmm. One, I read this story that it just, it impacted you so much, right? And we briefly touched on it before, but uh, I was hoping maybe we could just dig into that just a, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, yeah, go ahead. You want to know? Well, I mean, you know, what was it like working with them on the set? That's, I mean, it's Woody Allen. Working with him was a dream. He, he's my favorite uh, director, actually. He has been since I was a teenager. I watched um, his movies and I, and I saw the New York that I saw in musicals as a child. And I saw, you know, uh, this world that I just was thrilled to be a part of. And um, he was part of the reason why I ended up moving to New York. Uh, because I, I wanted to to be immersed in that world. He, he's a jazz lover, so am I. Um, great American songbook lover. He's. I mean, I've just I've grown up watching movies, and that's. It's all of those old films uh, he was informed by clearly. So, um, that was a dream come true. I mean, actually, the way that I got onto that uh, set for that film was. Uh, I, I just started telling people, I made up my mind, like, I want to, I want to be an actress. I want to be in movies. And somebody said, well, what do you want to be in? And I said, I want to be in a Woody Allen movie. And fortunately, they just turned out to be the right person to say that to, because they were like, <laughs> oh, well, I have been in touch with their producer in the past. I, because one of the artists that they worked with had composed for a Woody Allen film, unbeknownst to me. And so they reached out and said, you should know this artist. Um, and that's how I got on their radar. And, and uh, it, it was actually a long process for how I actually got to be in the movie. There were other recommendations coming from other people. He didn't want me um, initially at first. Uh, he wasn't wild about my haircut at the time. Um, I ended up wearing a wig in the film which, you know, resolved the whole thing. But, um, but I, there's nowhere else I'd rather be. If I can figure out how to get into another Woody Allen movie, that's like, that's my other biggest dream. Like, how do I, how do I do that? I just, I love what he makes and the types of roles that he writes for women. And being on his set, um, not that I've been on that many movie sets, but I can say that it's, uh, incredibly unique. I mean, this this guy is um, one of the most famous uh, living directors, um, and yet there's no pretense to his set. It's not like the Hollywood kind of atmosphere that you would imagine. Uh, he always works within a limited budget. Um, he's paying union rates, so his actors are just, you know, they're not getting these like exorbitant am amounts of money to be in his films. The ones that are there you know, he gets big stars and they're there because they want to work with Woody Allen. And we all shared the same makeup trailer. So I was in this in the same trailer with Blake Lively and Parker Posey and Kristen Stewart and um, and the rest of the cast, Jesse Eisenberg. Wow. And, um, so I'm just sitting there talking with them and learning, you know, as this is going on, that that's never the case. Like people are usually in far off trailers with security and everyone's being pampered and protected from one <laughs> another. And, and that it's unusual for actors to remain on set while other people are shooting. But in this case, I did my scene and all of the actors were still there watching. And Blake Lively even afterwards mentioned how strange and exciting that was to be watching someone else's scene get filmed. And I can say of his, um, his crew, uh, it's, it's such a great environment. Like it's, these are the, this, he's working with the same people that he's worked with for 30 years oh, wow. plus. And, um, typically they make a movie every year. Um, I've stayed in touch with his producers who are just as lovely and as down to earth as can be They're You know, they're just, reachable and available yeah. uh, his sisters on the set his wife and his kids would come um, in the evenings and it, it felt 
wonderfully familial and respectful and there no one was putting on airs no one was too big for their britches or superior to anything and the job was getting done between six o'clock in the morning and five o'clock in the afternoon it was like that's awesome the most functional <laughs> environment it was so strange and i in it in it to me it just spoke so much about who he is uh, I, it was that was evidence to me of of how great he is.